laboratory. As you can see, the laboratory might look a little different than what you might see because, well, just getting started. We need to put in walls and window and such. But thank you for choosing to work with us. Now, let's get started. This, hold on. This is your storage facility. It's a shelf where you can store chemicals and tools. This is your metal working shop. You can work metal. This is the desk where ideas and such are stored. You can perform chemical experiments here. And over here is the chalkboard. Now, let's get into some safety tips. This is Duke. He's a scientist in training here, and he thinks he's too cool for safety. Now, he's working with some very dangerous chemicals, such as chlorine gas. But as you can see, he's not wearing a respirator because he thinks, Huh, I'm too tough. So, he begins opening the jar. The chlorine gas spills out. He starts choking as his lungs are slowly filled with acid because chlorine does that. So, always wear your proper safety equipment when working with, you know, dangerous chemicals. Otherwise, you could die. Here in the lab, we also dabble with some very radioactive substances such as this, a container with uranium-238 inside of it. Now, beside, on to my right, I have a Geiger counter to measure the radiation. Here is the uranium. Might not look like much, but whenever I bring the Geiger counter close to it, You can see the radiation steadily climbing. Actually, hold on, let me just... Hear it? That's why you always have to have a Geiger counter and some sort of container to put the radioactive substances in. It's also toxic, so just don't take it out of this. It's useful for mutating plants, such as I do in the laboratory, like mutating moss. As you can see, the radiation level got up to 182, but it can sometimes go up to 328. So can americium. That's just their average. And here's Duke again, but he doesn't have a Geiger counter this time, because he thinks radiation, ah, uh, who cares, it won't kill me. He's exposed to 300 um, CPM of radiation. He gets cancer and dies within the week. Or, an alternative thing is, he takes it out of the canister, touches it, forgets to wash his hands, eats some food, and dies of uranium toxicity. Always have the proper things whenever you're working with radiation. We also do some biological experiments, like growing mold, just because, why not? You always need to be careful because there could be some sort of toxin that the biological uh, thing releases. Like ricin, because we might get castor beans one day. Now, you know Duke already. Doesn't care for the rules because I'm too cute. <laughs> so, he walks up to it and he smells it. <laughs> he dies of poisoning. Be careful around biological substances. Some experiments take time, like the growth of salt crystals, which is just something that people do for fun. Now, it's very important to respect the experiment because disturbing it could cause some form of abnormality in it. Duke, he don't care though. He screws up people's experiments all the time. Thank you for choosing Gunnerly Davis Music Laboratory, where our motto is, we can